Hey, welcome back. If you saw my last video about the emergency preparedness tips, I just wanted to expand on that and share a few more emergency tips with you. For this video, what I'll be sharing is three emergency tips in case of a wildfire or any fire for that matter. So something that you want to do in a fire is first of all, if you are somewhere that's being evacuated, get out, just leave. It makes it so much easier for emergency personnel and to do their job and not have to worry about like, oh no, I need to save this person because the fire is coming where we told them to evacuate to. So common sense, just, just leave. But anyway, if you are in that position, you want to make sure that whenever you're in an emergency, you stay calm. It's going to help so much with like being prepared with what to do and going somewhere and just knowing, knowing what to do. Staying calm is going to be super helpful for you. So with that being said, if you are somewhere that has wildfires, or any fire. Actually, if you're anywhere for that matter, you might as well just have like a little bag packed um, with the essential things that you would need for daily life to, to survive in case you are needing to evacuate at a moment's notice. That did happen to some of my friends in 2017 during the wildfires in Santa Rosa. California. <laughs> so I know we're more wildfires again. So I thought I'd share these tips with you today. And so just having a little bag packed with your basic needs is going to be super helpful. You'll be one step ahead and prepared. And uh, if you have the space or extra time, then you might as well also pack some, some clothes, um, an AM FM radio, some flashlights and batteries, extra chargers for your cell phone, your tablet, if you have a laptop, your uh, an extra laptop charger, just different things to help you be prepared. If you have a morning and have time, you can pack like all the other stuff that you definitely want to take with you, but just make sure you have a bag pack somewhere of the essentials such as any medical equipment that you use, all your medications, clothes, you know, things like that, that you use on a daily basis. Oh, if you have pets, know where your pet carrier is. If you do not have a pet carrier, then you want to, if you have a cat, then, um, like I'm talking small pets, if you have a cat, then you can grab a pillowcase and scoop them up with that put them in your car and then worry about it after you get out. <laughs> but hopefully you have a carrier and you know where it's at. And if you don't have a carrier, Amazon has plenty of them. Animal shelters usually have cardboard ones. So you could check in with your local animal shelter and see where that leaves you. Finally, tip number two, you want to know an evacuation route. So you want to know just like a couple different routes of places of like roads to get out of the area in case of road closures, in case of a fire, and in case of road damage. Because the worst thing that would happen is you'd be trapped in, well, you don't want to end up trapped in somewhere. So just know a few different routes and a lot of times you can get these if you're in California by looking at a Cal Fire map. But anyway, just a map of your town, you can probably get one at the visitor center and it'll show you a, a map of the of the whole county. And, and there you go. Then you just use that, look at routes, make notes of a couple different routes you can go in case of road closures. And a third and final tip for today Try to know in advance where you will go in case of an emergency. Will you want to stay in a hotel or is an evacuation center somewhere better for you? For me personally, I think I'd want to stay in a hotel because I, especially coronavirus times, pandemic, I don't want to be around people. And so just trying to know 
which places are open and which aren't. Worst case scenario, just to drive and I guess stay in your car. But know, know what your plan is and have a plan. And that will go a long way in helping you in an emergency. All right. Thank you for watching. Um, for more emergency tips, be sure to subscribe. And this is my new um, fitness room. For almost ready. So if you want to see fitness videos, I promise I will get those up soon. I've just been working on getting the room organized and haven't been too inspired. But hopefully I am now going to be inspired because I'm so close to having this room clean and organized. Anyway, so if you want to see exercise videos, subscribe. For more emergency tips, also subscribe or click the notification thing to get notified. All right. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an, a great day.